Yo, yo, yo. Zip. 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 All right, we're going to watch. Um, all right, so here's the plan, guys. What I said. Ted on screen. Here's what I said the other day, you know. Uh, oh, by the way, I'm 208. I woke up and I was 208 pounds. That means I have lost 14 pounds. 14 pounds, baby. Yeah. When I lose three more pounds, I'm going to post a picture of me at 205 like two years ago and a picture of me now at 205. And I got to tell you, I got to tell you, I think I look a lot better. I think. No, nah, the peach picture ain't yet. No, nah, not the peach. Uh, it's the blizzard diet. No. But you made some naughty decisions the past few days? Uh, I mean, yeah, but I remedied those decisions by not eating extra calories. So, like, the day I had the blizzard, I only had one other thing to eat that day. And that thing was 500 calories. So, the blizzard was around 1,200 and then what I had to eat was like 550, 500. So we'll just say 1800. So I still was in like a 400 calorie deficit. Yeah. Photo win? Win. Attention, my lord. It is I, your royal envoy, Ath. I bring word of the people and the great war. We have hired the famous vampire hunter Zemo Van Helsing to track down Cringa the Ninja. The Burge Council is denying all ties to the vampire infestation. That is for today, my lord. Okay. Okay. The birds are behaving, okay. Deliver a gift a gift basket. Of seeds. Yes. For their continued support. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. All right, guys. Which one are we watching, man? Which one are we watching? Let's see, 24 minutes, 22 minutes. Two, uh, yeah, let's watch this one. 10 scary videos to never watch at night. To never watch at night. Why does this guy have boners on his left and right? All right, so let's watch this one. All right, here we go. Hello everyone, my name is Sir Spooks and today we'll take a look at 10 scary videos. But before we begin, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more scary content. <laughs> I have a goal of reaching 1 million subscribers, so it would mean a lot to me if you could help me get there. Alright, with that said, let's begin. Mm -hmm. 10. This clip comes to us from a TikTok account known as PG Stories Official. In the video, we hear- Bruh. You know what the fuck this picture is? Does anybody know what this picture is? Well, those of you that know, you know. A woman explaining to the viewer that her and her kid just got back from eating dinner and noticed that her bedroom light was on for some strange reason. She says this weirded her out a lot because she did not remember leaving it on. At one point in the video, the uploader tells her kid to wait in the car while she goes on inside to have a quick look around just to make sure that everything is okay. Mm. This right here is spooky even though it's not... Even though there's probably no ghost there, man, there could be a person in the house, you know? However, as soon as she exits her vehicle, she notices this in her window. Listen, I'm gonna walk inside real fast. I want you to wait out here for me. Yeah, I'm, I'm in, I want you, oh my God. Somebody broke an arm. Yeah, oh my God. Yeah, fuck that. You call the police, man. Oh my god. You call the police. Somebody broke an arm. Yeah. I don't know. Let's go. Oh. Jaden? Yeah, it is. Go, go next door. Go next door and get your IC, okay? If you hear me scream, y'all hear me scream, call 911. What the fuck okay? if you hear me scream? Just call 911 anyway. What are you, stupid? What do you mean if you hear me scream? 
If they hear you scream, that means it's too late. Upon seeing this strange, shadow-like figure in the window, the mother states that somebody definitely broke in, while her kid can be heard in a panicked and scared voice, telling her to get back in the car. While most people probably would have called the cops and left the scene immediately, she instead enlists her kid mm -hmm. to call for help if something goes wrong. Nah, nah, she fuck goes that. on inside to investigate. Bro, let me tell you, let me give you a piece of advice. Whenever something like this happens, call the police immediately, because it's going to take them at least 20, 30 minutes to fucking get there. Sadly, just as she opens the door to investigate, the video abruptly ends and we are left wondering what exactly happened after the footage ended. Do you think that there really was a shadow figure looming in their house, or was it actually a home invader like When's she rebirth suspected? after this video? Both of the voices of the kid and mother seem quite authentic in how scared they were. What do you make of this eerie footage? Be sure to let me know in the comments below. Man, this is a person breaking in, man. There's a person breaking in. If it's not staged. This video was uploaded to the YouTube channel UFO Today, all the way back on October 28th, 2009, and is without a doubt one of the creepiest pieces of potential UFO footage out there. The footage in question was filmed at an undisclosed location in the middle of the night and shows something utterly baffling and creepy at the same Bro, time. This fucking... At first, we see a what large UFO fuck? mothership hovering around, which is already quite creepy as a is. A mothership? But things quickly escalate when this... Bro, look at the quality of this footage right here. Okay? This is like before I got LASIK and I took my glasses off. This is how I see. This happens. Take a look. I mean, that is weird shit in the sky, right? Dude, what the fuck? Wow. Okay, I don't know. What do you think that is? No, I'm not done, Blue. I'm not done, Blue. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, brother. I'm trying. It I'm immediately trying, man. becomes clear that there isn't just one UFO flying around in the sky, but rather several small ones. Despite the fact that this video was well over a decade old at this point, nobody has ever been able to properly explain what exactly is going on in this video, and whether or not it's real or all some cleverly edited piece of footage. Have you ever experienced an injury that required immediate care from a chiropractor? Well, my brother went through this. Oh recently. yeah. Today's sponsor Dave can assist you in managing Dave. unexpected ex You guys know about Dave? Are we watching the ad? You know what actually we are, we already watched the Dave ad. So we're going to skip it. But if you guys don't know about Dave, he's a bro. A man named Eric Wood posted this chilling video to his TikTok. Yo, Blue, let me give you a piece of advice. Okay? Now, I, now, now I don't want to tell you how to play the game. Okay? I would never do that. But. Unless. Okay, how do I want to word this? Um, I'll just tell you what happened to me. I went in with the mentality that I'm going to do every side quest and I'm going to 100% it my first playthrough. Okay? I was wrong. And it made me not like the game. But after reflecting upon my decisions, I feel like that I was going in with the wrong expectation. I wanted to knock the side quest out as fast as possible so that I could continue the main story. Okay? So... <clears throat> what I did was I said when I got to Cosmo Canyon I said fuck it I don't care about any more side quests fuck it I don't care and I started to enjoy the game a lot more um, because of side quest there are more side quests in this game than I've ever seen before in any fucking RPG that inhibit the story I'll put it that way 
that inhibit the story. So, so go in with that mentality that if you want to know what happens in the story, just skip the side quest because you're going to get to a point where you're going to be overwhelmed with side quests, like completely overwhelmed, and it might ruin the game for you. Yeah, you do all the side stuff too. Yeah, me too. Me too. I do it too. But there comes a point where it is ridiculously overbearing. Now, that's what happened to me. And once I stopped doing the side quests, I started to enjoy the game a lot more. Because there's way too much. There's way too much. It's actually, it's actually a downside to me that they put so many side quests in between main story portions. Like, I don't mind side quests, but the side quests literally, pro, like, they, they inhibit you from doing the main story. Like, there's so many side quests that you will legit be on side quests for, like, uh, I think when I did Junon area, I was there for 10 hours. I was there for like nine or 10 hours. And when I did Gangaga area, I was also there for like nine hours. That's all side quests, by the way. That's all side quests. Are they required? Yes and no. That's the problem. They're required if you want to get materia and they're required if you want to do the combat simulator. So, basically... The structure of side quests are a major flaw, in my opinion, on that game. And that is why it's probably not going to be a 10 out of 10 for me. It'll be close. It'll be like an 8 out of 10 or 9 out of 10. But I think Remake was better in that regard. In that regard. I don't know, though. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I haven't beat it yet. So I'm holding my, I'm holding my opinion. Okay. All right, anyway. Account on May 26, 2023, and show some eerie footage that looks to have been filmed on a home security camera system that he had set up. Bruh. Look at the fucking screen, bro. In the house somewhere. The footage in question may be quite grainy, so it's unfortunately a bit hard to make out precise and sharp details as to what exactly we're supposed to be looking at, but nonetheless, the footage is definitely unsettling. Have a look. Okay, so it's like a... Okay, so that's a window. Oh, what the fuck? Oh god, that's weird. Is that Batman? You know what that could be? That could just be the headlights, like a reflection of the headlights. Oh, never mind. Oh, that's a little weird. The video shows a pair of two glowing eyes that seem to belong to what appears to be some sort of dogman or werewolf, staring into the camera mm. in an extremely menacing manner. To this day, Nobody's entirely sure what Eric managed to capture on camera. I don't know, man. Let's just hope that whatever it is, if it's real, doesn't try to haunt him on a day to day basis from here on out. Oh, no, man. Kind of creepy. This next video was posted on the wildly popular UFO subreddit, which contains pictures and videos of exactly that interesting and chilling UFO I'm a big sightings UFO fan. From around the world. This particular piece of footage was filmed on August 30th in Poland. Mm -hmm. The upload of the video also posted this paragraph of text alongside the video to give viewers a bit of context. Quote, So it was 7 p.m. my local time, almost sunset. I was riding on my bicycle, training after work, on the local road near a highway leading to Lublin. You can hear cars noise. Then suddenly I saw an airplane with trails and two wide round shaped objects which were flying parallel to each other with the same speed without audible noise of engines like a plane. I took a video I was trying to focus on these objects but you know how it works with a normal camera in a smartphone. Anyway, aircraft flew into large rainy clouds and these objects maintained their speed and disappeared in clouds too. 
I was checking the sky for a while, then I went straight ahead. It was strange, but I'm aware that in eastern Poland, there is a bigger NATO military presence due to the war in Ukraine. That's kind of weird. So it could be it. I leave it to you. P.S. I'm a space passionate. I look almost every night at the night sky. Yeah, and I love I saw space. a couple of times strange objects with erratic movement. That's why I wanted to post this video here. Cheers. End quote. The video is definitely quite fascinating and mm. it is guaranteed to make you think and scratch your head in utter I mean, bewilderment. I mean, it doesn't necessarily mean it could be an could alien, right? It could be like a like a different type of plane. Sense. Perhaps a real extraterrestrial spacecraft would be the most rational explanation. It's a weather balloon. But this may end up being a mystery that never gets mm. properly solved. Reddit username PretendQuote7580 posted this eerie piece of security camera footage online yeah. that is creeping people out mm -hmm. all around the world, and for a very good reason, as you're about to see. The footage in question was filmed at a mall in the middle of the night, where all is extremely quiet and uneventful. The person who was watching over the security cameras was probably quite bored with nothing to do but likely got the shock of their life when they ultimately saw this happen. Oh shit, okay. Okay, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Was that paid toy? All right, so there's like three explanations. One, it's staged. Two, it's a ghost. Three, it's an invisible Mexican gnome. I mean, it's going to Out town. Out of nowhere, though. a strange sort of toy can be seen moving around the mall floor, mm. seemingly all by itself. The upload of the video states that it's possible that there could be a simple battery problem with this particular toy, which would cause it to roam around like that. I mean, is that a thing? But other people are not entirely sure about that and seem to be convinced that this is the work of a paranormal entity. Hmm. What do you think about this video? Does it show proof that even ghosts like to play around with toys? Or was this a weird battery malfunction on the toy? Be sure to let me know. That footage was pretty good. It was pretty good. This next video comes to us from a TikTok user simply known as UFO Alien Guy. Okay. And is definitely quite short in length, but it is without a doubt a very puzzling piece of footage. The video shows a man recording around outside at sunset, seemingly with nothing of interest going on. We are looking at a bush when all of a sudden, something genuinely terrifying happens. Take a look. Hello? Oh what? Bro, what the Whoa. fuck? Hello? Can you see it? Yo, is that a guy in an alien suit? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hello? Can you see it? Yo, that footage is good. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, that's yeah, that's good footage. That's good. Oh, I Suddenly, like the snake blue. An extraordinary yeah, I thought it was cool. creepy gray face can be seen peering out from behind the bushes, causing the uploaders to step back a few steps. At one point, mm. it almost looks as if the strange creature is getting ready to get closer to the uploader, but the video ends before we are able to see what happens next. Okay, okay. After okay. watching this video, Almost everyone on TikTok became convinced that this TikTok user managed to capture videographic evidence of the existence of aliens and extraterrestrial okay. life. But what do you make of this weird piece of footage? Dude, that's Lanky crazy. The creature definitely appears to be alien in nature, but is it possible that this was just something else altogether? That's Could probably this simply staged. be some guy in a costume? That's probably staged. We may never know. But it's still, but it's still good footage. Very entertaining. This next video comes to us from a user on TikTok known as the Movie Guy 11. Right. In the video, 
he provides some context before we are about to watch the following video, writing, quote, My friend filmed these two today in Yellowstone and thought that they Two Sasquatch sightings. Okay, okay. You guys think Bigfoot's real? I think it's possible. I think it's possible. I think it's possible because literally like on Earth, right? There's tons of like different species of animals that we have no idea that exist. And they get, and like new new ones get like a, new ones get discovered, you know, quite quite often. So I don't know, man, I think it's possible. I think anything's possible. They were a bear at first. Then when he rewatched it, he realized they were on two feet. End quote. Definitely Okay. Wow, that's the footage, huh? Okay. Alright. So what what classifies as Bigfoot? What if a person Okay, now does Bigfoot have to be an animal? Or can Bigfoot be like a person that was raised in the woods, has no idea about society, and is just really tall and really hairy? Can that be Bigfoot too? Or no? Ballfoot. Hmm. Yeah, bipedal missing link between monkey and man. Okay. It'd be quite intriguing, so let's take a look, shall we? I mean, I don't know, dude. This, this footage is like kind of bad. Like that could be anything, man. Or it could literally just be two people. Like you can't even tell that they're hairy. I don't know. This is kind of bad. How come no one ever zooms in or has a good camera? Okay, so that's an easy explanation. Okay, so anything paranormal or alien will admit, or sorry, will emit an invisible like aura that disrupts any type of recording equipment. All of the beautiful greenery aside, there is definitely something quite odd about mm -hmm. this footage. It all appears fine until you look closely and see two seemingly quite tall creatures roaming around the area. As the story goes, the uploader after filming the video showed the video to Park Rangers, who confidently told him that he managed to capture the elusive oh, yeah, Bigfoot on camera. Yo, you guys seen this footage? This is the best footage ever and it was taken like 30 or 40 years ago. Do you think that this TikToker actually filmed videographic evidence of Bigfoot? Or was this just something else? Either way, it's quite interesting to watch. When you picture your local grocery store, you probably just think of it as a place to, well, buy some groceries. Yeah. However, as it turns out, not even simple places such as those are safe from terrifying activity. This YouTube video was published online by a man simply identified as Christopher on July 27th, 2008. It shows surveillance camera footage from the Delhi Isle of a store somewhere in Connecticut. The security camera footage starts off normal as we watch a boring night that suddenly becomes Hi. rather eventful quickly. Okay. Man, that could be a person on the other side of the chair. Okay. So that one doesn't count. Okay, now that's okay, now that could be a string. That could that could be a string, was it? Was that a string? Okay. Uh, 
Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, that's pretty good. Many objects okay. in the stall can be seen getting moved around in an unnatural manner for several mm. seconds before the video cuts off abruptly. Okay, that's not bad. That's not in bad. In the description of the post, Christopher also says that the owner of the store saw the condition of the place the following morning and proceeded to call the police. Oh, the police probably thought somebody broke in. As an unexplained phenomenon, which is surely an understatement. Apparently, the location was also used as a rum running location during Prohibition. To this day, the unexplained phenomenon here has yet to be explained, and it likely never will be. Mm. Oh, I remember this. this. I've seen this. video will be sure to make your heart beat right out of I've your chest. I've seen this, man. It shows security camera footage that was filmed inside of this family's home in the middle of the night. All is peaceful and quiet until suddenly a young boy's voice can be heard crying out somewhere in the house. Immediately, the father of the child comes to see what's going on, but there's just one problem. Oh, that was that was pretty good. That, okay, that was pretty good. I forgot about this. I mean, like, I know I've seen this footage before, but I forgot about it. Yo, that was pretty good. Yeah, dude. Okay. 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 As it turns out, that was not his child. Okay. The voice that you heard crying was actually coming from an alleged paranormal entity. Yeah. This whole video feels like something you'd see in a horror movie. Of course, we cannot prove that this video is real, but it definitely feels quite authentic. And if it is, then we can only hope and pray that this poor family gets out of that house as soon as possible. Yo. I remember one time we were watching, we were watching one of these. And it turned out to be, uh, there was a fucking, there was a, there was a person. Okay. So basically the story was that this guy would go to sleep at night, but he would hear noises and wake up and he'd go out and investigate and nothing was there. So it'd be like, well, that's weird. What the fuck? But there would be some things that would be out of place. So it was like, what? And then, so he put up a camera and fucking dude. What he recorded was actually scarier than a ghost. There is a there was a person living in the crawl space above his apartment. And she would come out at night and get food and take it back in there. Dude, that is fucking terrifying. Like it was an actual person and the cops came, the police came and fucking took her and to and it took her away. I don't. I, I don't remember which video it was. I don't remember which video it was, but it was a squatter. It was a squatter video. Yeah, it's scarier than paranormal shit. Yeah, it is. And it was crazy because the footage showed like so. Pretend there's like a fucking I don't know. There's like a a vent here or some shit. So she would crawl out of the vent. There was like a desk. She'd stand on the desk, and then from the desk she'd get on the floor, and she would go and scavenge like food and shit. What is this? So I kept them finding creeper in my. Oh, this is it! No, 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 this is it! Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. After this, we'll watch it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll watch it. It's fucking scary, man. It's UFO fucking scary. Videos no, legit. Usually scary, depict man. the flying saucer in question as being in the shape of well, a saucer. I thought it was going to be However, a fartling too. UFOs are not always I that shape as this next video from Reddit proves. Posted to the UFO subreddit, the footage was filmed by the Reddit user who was riding on an airplane one day in the window seat when he looked out at the sky and saw something rather odd. Take a look. Oh, what the fuck is that, man?
I, I think it's funny. It's like higher quality on the bottom one. Or it's That's like easier plane, to see. Dude. There's no wings, dude. Mm. That definitely appears to be some sort of UFO for sure, but strangely enough, it appears to be in the shape of a Tic Tac, just like the famous Tic Tac UFO caught on video by fighter pilots back in 2004. A statement from the uploader reads as follows, quote, was flying over Nevada near Nellis Air Force Base. I noticed this object outside the window. It was a little closer before I started filming and visibly no wings or tail. Mm. It seemed to also be a little fat, scientific term, Whoa. to be a plane. I Come showed on, this bro. to multiple airline crew members, including the pilot, and they stated that it was definitely not a plane. To be sure, mm. I filmed planes at roughly the same distance, and you could clearly see wings and were much thinner. I tried stabilizing the video as much as I could. Mm. I noticed it had a distinct tic-tac shape to it, so I got a little excited." End quote. So next time you see a weird object in the sky that doesn't mm. appear to be in the shape of a saucer, just remember that it could very well be a UFO. And that was 10 scary videos. Good. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, then subscribe for more scary content. That was good. My name is Sir Spooks, and I'll see you all in the next video. Yeah, that was good. All right, let's watch this shit, man. This shit's fucking crazy, dude. This shit's crazy. Food missing in my apartment that I knew I wasn't eating. I confronted my girlfriend who lives with me about it, and she claimed she wasn't eating it. So I decided I'm going to set up a video camera, and I'm going to catch her. This is what I found. Yeah, this is fucking creepy. Dude, look at this. This is horrifying, man. Bro. Oh. It was not confirmed fake. Oh my god. Shut the fuck up, dude. Shut the fuck up, man. It's not the same, bro. It's not the same. It's not the same.
Dude, she's watching TV and everything. What the heck? Okay. Dude, that's fucked up, man. But he doesn't know. I mean, dude, if she peed in the sink, then she flushed it like she washed it away. Only an expert knows it. Shut the fuck up, man. Dude, that's crazy, man. That's crazy. <laughs> I'd rather live on the streets than in someone else's house. Imagine if he didn't hear him coming and he just saw you pissing in the sink. <laughs> God, whoa, whoa, <laughs> all right, all right, guys, racks over, racks over, yay, of the game, yay. Rack's over. <sighs> All right. All right. <clears throat> Wins wrecked. Wins the wreck. All right.
Oh God. This is way different than the original. Okay, this happened in the original. No, not again. Block it. Block it. Block it. Block it. No! I told you she wasn't gonna die. I told you she wasn't gonna die, dude. I fucking told you she wasn't gonna die. She did die. Well, why did he save her? I mean, like... Aerith! They really killed her again? Holy shit. Well then, why did he knock the sword away? She's not dead. She's not dead, man. She's not dead. They want us to think that she's dead. Cloud, it's okay. Eric. 
Aerith. I'll kill you! Aerith! And so it begins. A confluence of worlds and emotions. Loss, chief among them. It engulfs fleeting moments of joy, transforming them into rage, sadness, hatred. Never have I felt them so keenly. No way she really died again, man. No fucking way. No way they killed her again. I refuse to believe it. No, no, no. I refuse to believe it. I refuse. However, you'll never see the truth with such clouded eyes. Shut up! <laughs> After all, you're just a puppet. Jesus. Okay, you know what? Fine. Jesus, man, this fight is... Oh, okay, so Tifa's just gone now. Okay.
Oh, wow, that was an error. Okay. Shit. That was like multiple.
after you. You okay? <laughs> What? Oh shit! I thought I dodged. God, Tifa and Kate. You good? Jesus, well, I'm fucking dead. I'm fucking dead. Dude, Kate's is such a dog fucking shit character, man. What a fucking... What I say, T5 meant Kate's a Kate's a such like a dog shit fucking character. Man. Coming your way, Yuffie. Been waiting for this. Get ready. Ah. We're not in 
Oh my god. Time I'm coming. Be careful. Any last words? Deal with that. Nope. Uh-uh. No way. Right as I heal myself, too. Fuck. Okay. Wait. Retry from before current battle. Retry from this battle. Retry from before. Wait, what? The fuck? Maybe it skips a phase. Okay. Maybe I picked the wrong option. Yeah, maybe I. I think I picked the wrong option. Oh, whatever. Okay, so it's three hits in this. Okay, that, that, that fight went a lot better.
Did I reassess? Stay strong. Of course. How about you show us what you do over there? That's just like, so there's lasers and there's also bio. Okay. Sorry, I, for, I forgot what that, that move was. Did I not get the res off? Pretty good damage. Okay. okay, that fight went better. Yeah, that yeah, that went a lot better. Okay, so so I'm I'm starting to learn his moves. There was just there was just the one move I was unfamiliar with, and that was like the big ass. I guess there's like bios on everybody. There's blizzards on everybody, and then there's also. Uh, that be in a few I absolutely fucking despise. You have to have this stupid fucking Moogle out to do your uh, to do your fucking limit break, man. Kate Sith is such a dog shit character, man. Uh, please. Oh. oh. Oh, wow, that was fucking sick, actually. That was sick.
Holy shit, man. Barrett and Nanaki just fucked this thing. I mean, I guess they had two limit breaks, but good lord. Dreams of sorcery. Okay. Let me down. Don't overdo it. Oh shit, right, right, right. That one better, yeah, that one better. That one better. Oh, damn. Okay. Yo, this is sick, man. Oh shit! I fucking forgot for a second that fucking Kate took him to the party.
Oh, and this dumbass can't even fucking... Dude, what a fucking trash character. Absolute fucking trash, man. What a cringe character, man. Absolutely fucking ridiculous. Let me summon... Let me summon the idiot. So bad, dude. No way she died, man. No way. I refuse to believe she died. He saved her. He saved her. I refuse to believe it. White, as far as the eye can see. Mm -mm. Hey, anybody there? I don't care if she dies in this one or not. They're going to bring her back in the third. Guaranteed. 100%. How about that? Oh, is this like a time stop? <sighs> well, nice to see you too. So, I hear you've been pretty busy. Holy shit. Zach? This is actually sick as fuck. This is actually sick as fuck. The uh, Cloud and Zach are like... I gotta tell you, man. I like Zach way 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 more than I thought I would I mean way more I braver? Okay. Deal with that. Charge up power. Is that going to be a playable character in the next one? Take 
destruir. No more. Oh, Jesus. Let's do this. Wow, soldier's honor. Holy shit, let's see. Dude, this is sick as fuck. Oh god, please. Please. Okay. Great minds. Now's our chance. Let's finish this. Gotta give it my all. Enough. That was sick, actually. Just as worlds unite, so too do they part. Cloud, save her! Save her! Save her! Oh, wow. This is like the end shit. Like in the, in the OG. Okay. All right. All right, guys. Guys. I'm very sorry. Please forgive. Please forgive. I got a code brown, bro. I got a code brown. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm back. I'm back, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 
Okay. Don't care how big you get. I'm not backing down. Oh my god. Oh god. They gotta add a climbing segment. Oh shit! Oh! Oh, right, right, right. Right, okay. Apocalyptic fire is the AoE. Swarm. Swarm is the... Okay. Fuck, which one is this again? Wait, okay. Fire's out, fire's out, fire's out. Right, 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 right. Let's get this over here. Is that it? Ah, damn it. What? Oh, that's it. Man, fuck! Oh, that's Bahamut. Oh, fuck. Okay, that's a problem. This one's for Aerith. The 
This is Bart! This is Betty Bart! We don't have time for this! Come on! We gotta take out Bahamut! Go for it! Oh! Your turn now! Sick him! I got it! Break a leg! My turn is! Jesus. Oh, that sucks. I think everybody's dead. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, it's a little bit. Oh, that's cheap. Oh, Tifa's dead. Oh, Okay. 
Oh my god. I just fucking missed the limit break because of that fucking cringe shit, dude. Alright, get out there and give him hell! Dude, that was so badass when Zack and, and Cloud were fighting Sephiroth. Man, I hope Zack is a playable character in the next one. What in the hell is going on? I think it's funny that Zack is a playable is is kind is you get okay. Zack is you get to play as Zack in this in this one, but you don't get to play as Vincent or Sid. Oh shit. And whatever happens, protect your honor as a soldier. Oh shit. Let's settle this once and for all. Man, Zack is really fun to play, actually. Uh, is there a reason why my fucking camera is fucked? Nice move. So, Sephiroth exists yeah, in like multiple realities or timelines. Uh, he's pretty 
rebuilding himself. Then we keep fighting. Hey, Butthead here's looking pretty banged up. Call me crazy, but it feels like someone's helping. Do you have any even? We gotta take out the barrier. It's those stupid wings. Dude, that is massive! What the fuck? Okay, where's Barrett? I don't- Dude, I'm gonna be real, man. I don't even know what the fuck's going on. Okay, it's the stupid wings. Okay, so hit the wings. But they're in bono. Okay, it's immune. Fire. I don't... I don't get it. Okay, okay. Okay. Okay, yeah, 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 shit's pretty much, yeah. Okay, so now it's lightning. I gotta change. So, I don't even know. I'm just building ATV. I want him to change again. Apparently, he doesn't change, so. I'm just gonna cast Blizzard, but I don't think this is Blizzard. I don't think I have it. Okay, okay, here we go. All right, so now it's arrow. So what, what the fuck is okay? Bring it home. My turn. I don't. I don't know. Earth. Oh. You got this. Wait, what the fuck did I just cast? I cast a. Shit, what did I cast on him actually? I think I cast Blizzard. Uh, I'm gonna... Yeah, I think I cast Blizzard. Um, I need to High Ether Barret.
I do not have. Okay, haste. Uh... There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> That's fucking Tank it. Hey there, jerk face. Nothing's gonna stop us. Let's show him what we're made of. Oh, this is the move that takes everybody to one. I told you she's not dead, man. She's not dead. I told you. She's not dead, dude. Let's end this together. I must admit. I underestimated you. Looks more like a ghost. Awkward. Yeah, well, you would know, because you're a ghost of this channel. Get the fuck out of here. I saw what you did back there, Cloud. Thank you. Maybe later. This ain't over. Right. Okay, let's finish this.
Okay, so don't don't hit the thing when there's a tornado. Okay, I got it. I'm here. You're out of luck. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Wow, she didn't even have heal. I can't even heal. This is so scuffed, like. Right, there's an explosion after it. Okay. On it. Don't give up now, you guys. No holding back. Defy. Dude, did she really just fucking eat shit? Did she really just fucking sit there and eat shit? Cost two ATB. How's this? Let's end this cloud. Oh, All right. shit. You ready? As I'll ever be. Finish it. I'll take care Go of this. In. One more shot. <laughs> Okay, okay. That was fucking sick. I countered his explosion. I countered the explosion with a fucking, uh... With a synergy ability. Okay. Uh, okay, sorry. I like. No 
Oh, I'm dead here. I'm dead. I didn't know how long it would last. I guess I should have looked at my buff. You'll feel better in a I'm I'm so dead. I'm so dead. I'm so fucking dead here, man. Take it from here. Come on, do it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh he's a one. He's a one. He's a one. He's dead. God damn it, man. I wouldn't have blew my load if... Yeah, that's... Are you... Just fuck it, dude. Just fuck it. Show me. Oh, this is a mistake. Yeah, this is a mistake. Oh, never mind. Okay. It wasn't this guy. She died, though. <laughs> Did he just leap? He just burge leaves? <laughs> Why is he laughing? Because he knows this isn't over. See you, Baldo. He just burged left! <sighs> that needs to be an emote. Sephiroth, leave. <laughs> he just flies away, dude. Is Aerith alive or not? She's alive. Everybody's waiting. She's alive. Oh god, maybe not cuz she's gone. I guess she's dead. She's in the live stream. I mean, dudes, she's alive. She's in the live stream, man. She just doesn't has a she just doesn't have a physical body. Man, I dude, I got to say, man. I got to say before I before I played this game, I was very open minded to liking Zack's character. But I like so this is it, huh? I really like Zack's Time character, man. Goodbye. Oh no. <laughs> For now. For now. For now. See ya. 
I like Zack's character a lot, man. At least what they did in this. Okay, so... I feel like there's there's a future Aerith and a and a present Aerith. She's not dead. She's not dead. She's not dead, man. She's gonna wake up. She's gonna wake up. We saved her. She's not dead unless she disappears into the live stream. And even then, she's still conscious in the live stream. Oh damn, he's gonna put her in the water. She's gonna wake up. She's gonna wake up. She's gonna wake up. I told you. I told you she's not dead. She's not dead. I told you. I fucking told. I told everybody. Everybody's like, no, she's gonna die. No, she's gonna die. Arthur's was like, no, she's gonna die, man. She's gonna die. I was right. I knew they wouldn't kill her. I knew they wouldn't kill her again. It's too. It's too predictable. It's too predictable. Okay? She's not dead. She's not dead. We saved her. <laughs> I don't actually know if she's dead or not, man. <laughs> I don't actually know, dude. I'm too confused. I'm too fucking confused, man, with the different timelines. I don't even... Dude, I'm going to be honest. I have no idea what happened in the past, like fucking hour I have no fucking idea man she could be dead as shit she could not be dead as shit can't stay here forever we'd best get moving yep like, honestly, man, even if, okay, even if she were to be alive. So I guess only he can see her, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Like, here's the thing, man. Okay, even if she's dead in this game, or even if she died, did she really die? I mean, dude, there's so much crazy shit. I don't think anybody's actually dead. I don't think anybody's dead. Zack was dead, now he's back. Aerith died, now she's back. Dude, it doesn't... Do admit. 
No, it's not even no, it's not even about copium. It's the fact that the story is so fucking crazy and insane that at any point in time somebody can just poof right back into existence. I guess. Not. I mean, I guess I, I guess except for for Jesse. Anyway, you haven't seen Viceroy Saruf, have you? He failed to show at an important event. Made us look like fools. Maybe he wouldn't have if you'd spent some money on that set. Ah, you're probably right. Rich kids do like things just so. I gotta pee. I gotta pee. I'm sorry. I gotta pee. Nah, so like a random thought, a random thought. I know why we didn't go to Rocket Town. Or at least I think so. Uh, my thought is, is that, um, so basically all of the playable characters, um, they, they all have a section of the game, right? Well, because Sid isn't a playable character, there's no point to go to Rocket Town yet. Because if you went to Rocket Town in this game, then basically they would have to make up some extra bullshit. And I feel like that, you know how in the original, how you went to rocket town twice, right? So you, so you went there, you did the Palmer fight and then you came back way later. And that's when you flew into space. I feel like you're just going to go there and you're going to fly into space. Like you're not going to go back. Anyway, sorry, random thought. Still got results though, even without him. Resistance I think they're saving the whole well the thing is is like for the Wu Tai thing if you actually went to Wu Tai and like it uh, it kind of makes sense that you don't go to Wu Tai and the reason why is because if you went to Wu Tai then basically the conflict like they would have to they would have to make up some bullshit why the conflict between Wu Tai and Shinra is like continuously ongoing right so like I imagine that because Wu Tai and Shinra are so like like at war, it wouldn't make sense to go there now. It would make sense to go there in the last game because they're gonna finish everything up in the last game. You know what I mean? You know, Glenn. I'm so I guess Yuffie you. is an exception to this that. This war is nothing but a ploy to distract me from Sephiroth. I don't know who this guy is. How very astute. That's not even a word. Astute? The fuck is that? Regardless, the plan is already in motion. Our promised land will become reality. A father's dream accomplished by his son. I want the real thing, not some imitation. <laughs> but an imitation's all you deserve. Damn. Yeah, basically, uh, all of those guys, I guess, in the black robe are, uh, just like old. I guess they're all an extension of Sephiroth, right? Damn.
Holy shit, this shit's still going? What the fuck? Oh! Okay. Oh, right. So this is actually in the live stream. So that thing isn't dead anymore? What the fuck? It just got, it got like skewered by Sephiroth and then like cut in half. How's it not dead? Maybe each one represents a certain timeline. Or reality, rather. Yeah. Did I? Man, I hope you get to play as Zack. Like, I hope Zack joins the group, dude, in the in the next game. It all felt way too real. Just as worlds unite, so too do they part. <laughs> but who's to say they can't unite again? So, Sephiroth said that he underestimated Cloud. So, th so that was an unforeseen thing that happened. Sephiroth's been pretty badass as a villain, man. He's very menacing. And you don't know what he's up to. Like, he hasn't... He's very enigmatic. Us suffering from a lack of kisses. Can you not raise it just a wee bit higher? Screw you, cat. Holy shit, man. What the fuck? Dude, Barrett is so strong. Holy fuck, you know how you know how heavy that has to be? Nice catch. He was doing that with one arm. Well, Are you fucking kidding me? Anyway. Dude, he's squatting like over a thousand pounds, dude. That's what that uh, man, I bet you that wing weighs over a thousand pounds. Well And with that, we are cleared for takeoff. <sighs> Finally. Yo, Aerith's alive. <laughs> Aerith was there. Oh, now she's gone. Now she's it's there again. Fair. Okay, so yeah. So she's like a spirit. So she's ghost Aerith. Yeah. Aerith? I don't, dude, I don't think they killed her. The, uh, all right. Okay. This is like, is, dude, they're going to bring her back in the third game, man. Oh, wow. He has it. The reunion. Hey, you coming or what? Man, that, man, this scene is really yeah. pretty. One sec. He put it in his buster sword. You have to promise not to look up. Don't look up. Well, now I gotta look. Fine, but don't let it get to you. Don't let what get to me? It's not real. Just an illusion. Now let's go get Sephiroth. He's hiding up north. North? Trust me, he is. 
soldier's intuition. Oh, yeah? Better hope you're right. <laughs> All right, fine. We trust you. <laughs> Just remember, we got everything riding on this. And that's a load you'd best be ready to carry. No heavy loads. We're close to capacity as it is. <laughs> Don't worry about me. I can handle it. Uh. Take care. You gonna be okay getting back? And if I said I wasn't? <laughs> Don't worry. It's like a second home. I guess. But what if... What if something happens? Then I'll send up smoke. Thanks. I'll keep an eye out. Yeah, I think she's she's talking about that um I've got into my prayers. I'll stop the meteor. And I'll leave the rest to you. Good luck. Aerith. I will stop Sephiroth. Trust me. You promise? Promise. Tiny Bronco. Hell yeah. So her second home, so her second home was the, uh, her, her, her second home was, yeah, like the live stream and that, and that other, uh, that other reality. We'll just have to wait till the next one. I mean, dude, I dude, I don't know if I can give it a rating on the story, man. I don't know. Yeah. How many hours did it take me? I mean, it took me like 70, like 65 or 70, but I did, but... But I did like three of the first zones, 100%. Yeah, there's more questions than answers. I don't think it's real. Man, I, I just don't. I don't think it's fair to judge the story yet. I just don't. I don't think it's fair. No, I don't think it's fair. I feel like that... I, okay, so, so like, let's say it's a book, right? Let's say it's a book. So you're just going to judge like the second portion of the book. I mean I I mean I guess, I don't know. Yeah, 
I don't know. I mean... I mean, I guess... Hmm. Wait, John DiMaggio? Isn't that Bender? Oh, it's Bender? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> hell yeah. <laughs> I don't know. This is a random thought. Okay. Bender bending Rodriguez. Hell yeah. Okay, I mean, yeah, I mean, I get what you guys are saying. I get what you guys are saying. I, the thing, okay, so here's what I'm, here's, here's what I'm thinking, man. It's like, my opinion is like really biased. So if I was going to say, if I was going to give this a standalone, I would like for the story, I would probably give it like a fucking two out of 10. <laughs> and the reason why I would do that is because of all the prior knowledge you have to know. Like, okay. Okay. So like, let me give you an example. My experience with this game is going to be vastly different than someone that has only played this game. No, like the thing is, is I don't think they fucked up seven. I don't. Okay, so so I'm going to try to give you like two different perspectives. Okay, so my perspective, my personal perspective is I think the story was great. I think it was awesome. I, I am I, I'm extremely excited for the next game because there's more questions than we have answers. So so I think it's amazing. I think it's awesome. But the thing is, is that like that's my perspective. Okay, but from a perspective, like from a perspective of a brand new person, because as you guys said, this is supposed to be a standalone game, right? I think it's a two out of 10 and there are one out of 10. And the reason why is because as a person, it like, let's say this is a person's first Final Fantasy game, right? You are not going to know what in the fuck is going on from the second you start playing till the very end of the game. At least I would imagine. I don't know. Maybe you guys can tell me different. I just think that if this... I think that them saying it's a standalone game, I think that it's try, they're trying to say that basically it's a full game. I, I think that they're... They're just... They're just stupid. This... In able to understand this game, you not only need to play Remake, but you also need to play the original Final Fantasy 7, and you also need to at least watch some some lore videos on Crisis Core and Dirge of Cerberus. Like, this is not a standalone story. There's absolutely no fucking way, man. There's no way. Like, in, in able to understand this game even a little bit, you would have to play all of the other garbage beforehand. Or, well, not garbage, but you know what I mean. All, all of the other games. How is Dirge relevant? So the thing is, is like, it's, we don't a hundred percent know why all of it is going to be relevant, but they are going to bring some of it back. Like Nero is there. Vice is there. We haven't went into Vincent's backstory. Like I can already fucking tell you that Vincent's part, you know, his backstory or whatever is going to dive into fucking Dirge of Cerberus. Like he literally had a fucking game and for some reason they decided to make it canon. So, like, this is another thing is that you got, like, this is why judging this, judging just this game is fucking stupid because you need to judge all three of them. And that's impossible to do because I haven't released the next one. But if you were going to just judge this one, in my opinion, this is, there is no way that just this game is a 10 out of 10. There's no fucking way because there's, the story is not going to make sense to a vast majority of motherfuckers. The side quests and mini games 
hinder you from like from going into the story because they lock items behind it. So like if I'm just going to judge just this game by itself, this game is like actually kind of bad. Like it's like a two out of ten, a three out of ten, some shit like that. The the best thing about this game is the combat. But I'm not going to judge it as a standalone game. Like I'm not gonna judge it as a standalone game. Because I can't. I literally can't. Because I've played all the others. It's not like I can unplay all the others, you know what I mean? Like, the, you don't know it's a uh, two, uh, two out of ten game? Oh, I do. Oh, I do. I used to play fucking Ion and a whole bunch. Dude, I, dude, I played Dirge of Cerberus, bro. I played Dirge, okay? Trust me. I know a one or two out of ten. Okay. <sighs> Maybe not a two out of ten. It's, it's not, it's definitely not a ten out of, look, look, look. Dude, fuck the rating. The rating doesn't matter, okay? The rating doesn't matter because rating is going to vary from person to person. Like, this this type of game, man, this type of game, if it, the, the fucking rating or the experience of the player is going to vary so much. It's not like, this isn't, this isn't a standalone game. You have to play all the others to fully get everything. Like, I thought the temple was cool. Uh, I thought the ending was cool. For those of you that don't know, like when Sephiroth turned into that weird shit that was kind of like at the end of the OG. Yeah, it's like Bizarro, Sephiroth. But I guess... I guess... Okay, so... So what I was saying, right, was... I'm not going to judge it based on a standalone, okay? I'm not going to judge it because it's not a standalone game. It's it's a full game, but it's not a standalone game. Like, you have to play the others to understand it. So with all that being said, I mean, I thought it was really good. Is it a 10 out of 10? So at the beginning when I played, I thought it was. But then halfway through... I thought it wasn't because there were too many side quests, too many mini games, all this bullshit. Now that I said fuck all that and I just went with the story, I don't know. Maybe it's like an eight. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to rate it. Probably around like an eight. Like I will. Okay, okay. So I'm gonna say the the the. I'll say a good thing and then a bad thing. The good thing. The best thing by far in this game is the combat system. 100% the combat system. Like, it's not even close. The combat system in this game is probably one of the best in any RPG, in my opinion. I think it's ridiculously fucking good. Uh, okay, so there's a good thing. So here's a bad thing. Um, the game, and they did the same thing with Final Fantasy 16. The pacing of the game is actually trash. Okay, the pacing is not good because what I found myself is I would be doing the story and then basically the story would come to a complete and utter halt and I would, ha I would feel pressured into doing all of this side shit that could have been held for at the end of the game. So for those of you that weren't here yesterday... I think that one of the best, I guess, game structures is Final Fantasy X. And the reason why it's so good is because Final Fantasy X has a ridiculous amount of content. Okay? But all of that content comes at the very end of the game. Okay? Like, Final Fantasy X is one of the best Final Fantasies ever made. And so basically, the game forces you to, to, to go through that, to go through the story first. The game focuses on the story first, and then all of the extra shit, okay? For those of you that never played Final Fantasy X, there is a ridiculous amount of shit you can do. Like, just to give you one example, you have to go around for for one of the ultimate weapons, or sorry, for uh, the uh, monster arena, you have to kill literally 10 of every single monster in the game, okay? So, now regardless of not if you think that that's good or grindy or if you enjoy it or you hate it that doesn't matter that's just one thing that you have to do upon a shit ton of other things you have to do 
But, but, but my point here is that you don't get access to doing that until at the very end of the game. So the game will force you to do the story. So it's just nonstop story, 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 story until the very end. And then it's like, okay, these are the final preparations. You have all of this map to explore. You can either kill the boss or go to the end section or you could do all the side quests. Okay? So that type of structure, I am a huge fan of. And for whatever reason, and I don't know why, but in Final Fantasy 16, they did this dumb shit where you have this amazing story and then you come to a screeching fucking halt to do a side quest about a character that doesn't even matter. But you have to do it like all the time. And this game took it to the next, they took it to the next level. In addition to those quests, you not only have to completely explore the map and everything like that. Now that's fine. Map, map exploration is fine. Many games are fine. But when they lock items behind it and hinder you from going through the story, that is when it becomes a problem to me. Okay, that is when it becomes a problem to me. So, with all that being said, the structure of this game, the pacing of it, is horrible. Is horrible. I spent like nine hours in Junon, and then another nine hours in whatever the fuck came after Gungaga, dude. It was it was, like the the maps were like Junon was horrible to navigate for the first time. Gungaga was about the same. Calm was okay. I didn't even do Cosmo Canyon yet. And I felt like Nibelheim would have been much easier because of the Chocobo that you got. Um, so, in my opinion, the pacing of this game was absolute fucking dog shit. Like, I would be... So, in my experience... So, like, when I first did this, I would be doing the story, and there would be so many side quests, so many mini games, so many of this, so many of that that I would literally forget where the fuck I was in the story. Like, wait a minute, what did I last do? Like, what the fuck? What did I last do? Um, so as far as the pacing goes, that was my only issue with this game, actually was the pacing. Uh, well, as far as like the structure of it was. Now, okay, so now I'm gonna say a good thing. Uh, the characters in this game they really, really made me like them more. Like, I already liked Barrett, like, even from the original, right? But it, but in this game, they, they, they made him even better. And Zack, I hated Zack. And, I, but, but I went into this game with an open mind. And I fucking love Zack. I, th I think he's awesome. He's awesome. Um, Nanaki, I did not like what they did to his voice. I did not like it at all. I understand they did something like that in the original, but that is something that they probably should have left out. I was not a fan of him switching between like, like, I don't know, like an older voice to a younger voice. I wish they just would have. It, it like, it's very jarring to me. Okay. It's very jarring to me. So like, uh, yeah, I wasn't a fan of that. Um, I liked all the Turks again. I wish Reno would have been in it just a little more. Uh, the fights were cool. Rufus was cool. Um, Dio was awesome. Dine's part was really, really cool. I liked how they changed Dine's part too. I liked how they... Because in the original, Dine committed suicide. Uh, but he didn't in this one. Um, so let's see what else um, okay I think that I think that if you were to just okay my advice to anyone playing this game is do not spend too long on the side quest the only thing that I think that you should do is just blast the story. You just blast the story. And once you get like, I don't know, Kujata mat uh, Materia, you could get like a couple summons. You know, but after that, don't fuck with side quests anymore. Because what'll happen, in my opinion, is because it's paced so bad that you're going to be... 
at least what happened to me is you'll forget where the fuck you are in the story. Maybe I'm just dumb. I mean, that's a possibility too. But it completely kills the 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 um, the momentum of the story for me. Okay. Yeah, see, okay, you said you blasted the story 33 hours playtime. That's what I should have done. But what I did was I 100% um, Calm Region, I 100% Junon, I 100% Gangaga, and then by the time I got to Cosmo Canyon, I was so fucking burnt out of like all of this just, it's the same shit over and over again. Like you go find a tower, you go, it's just the same shit over and over again, man. And it gets really, 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 really fucking stale, man. Okay? So don't do that. Don't do that. Just blast the story for your first time through. Anyway, um, that's what I would say. Now, obviously, you don't have to do that. And if you're a big fan of side quests, that's fine. I I'm a big fan of side quests, too. But it got too much. It got way too overbearing. Okay? It got way too overbearing. Um, so... Now, one super huge downside is all of the menuing. All of the menuing is so fucking obnoxious and tedious. It is so fucking bad, man. It is so bad. It's so bad. Like, they should ask you, they should make you go in the menu to change your fucking materia. Because even if you don't want to change, it, it's just a quick, like, circle. Do you want to exit the menu? Yes, that's it. But they should make you go in the menu, just like they did in the first one. So I don't know why the fuck they didn't do it in this one. But having to constantly change all the materia from all the different characters is really, really bad. It's really bad. So they need to add presets to the game. They also need to add... Um, okay, so like, let me give you an example. So this is what they should do. They should give you, they should give you presets. And in addition to presets, they should also make you or uh, allow you to transfer all of the materia on one character to another character with one button. Like you just hit like, I don't know, like fucking square or something. You hold square on one character. You basically take all the materia and you dump it onto another character. That's what they should do. And with uh, character presets, uh, it would swap your materia mid fight so like let me give you an example right so let's say in the last battle you have uh two characters two characters two characters you know what i mean so every time that you swap to two different people so the first two were kate sith and uh tifa i think right so boom you have their two presets so when you start the fight they have their preset material then it swaps to barrett and nanaki Okay, so then if any materia from Tifa or Katesith is on Nanaki and Barrett, they will go there, you know? And let's say that someone shares shares the same materia. Well, then just have a priority system. You know what I mean? So then, boom, it swaps again. That's what they should have. So, like... Oh, and the lighting was really fucking bad. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. The sound in this game is fucking horrid. It is horrid, bro. It is so bad. The sound is fucking one out of ten. It is so bad. It's so bad. The sound, the sound was horrible. The lighting was horrible. It's just, it's not a 10 out of 10 game, man. It's not. It's not. Now, did I like the game? I actually love the game, okay? It's not a 10 out of 10, though. I thought Remake was better. I thought Remake was better. Remake was better than this in every way except for the combat. Except for the combat. The only thing that was better uh in this game then remake was the combat now the combat is Ooh. i'm gonna be honest man the combat really carries this game it really does because they took an already good combat in remake and they made it better 
So they added perfect dodges. They added perfect blocks. You can totally immune, like if you're really good at the game, man. You're, you can totally immune uh, a majority of, of attacks, a vast majority of attacks. And it's also super, super fucking fun uh, for me personally because I like to parry and counter in games. Did I like 16 more than this? Uh... I'll put it this way. 16 was a better game. 16 was a better game overall, but I liked this better because I'm biased. Um, so let me explain why I thought 16 was better. 16 didn't have the sound issue. 16 didn't have the lighting issue. 16 didn't have the... the 16 had side quests, but they weren't near, near as, as, as overwhelming as this shit. Like in 16, the site, like, okay, in 16, it was like, I don't know, 50, 50, if a side quest was going to be good, the ones that were good were amazing. So like, I'll give you a couple examples. The Torgo one, when you went in the tree house, that one was amazing. The one where you went in the uh, field of flowers with Jill, that one was amazing. There were some shitty side quests. The, like, there's like this mayor of that, uh, like the desert town that no one gives a fuck about. The, that this quest line was like three fucking quests and it was obnoxious. That was horrible, okay? So like 16 was a better game in the sense that it didn't have near as many technical issues as this game. And the, stru like the structure of it, in my opinion, was slightly better. But I like this game better because I like this game's combat system better. Now, don't get me wrong. I love 16's combat, but like I said, this is probably the best combat system. One of the best in any games that I've played. One of the best. Um, but I liked this one better because I have personal bias and because I played all of the other ones. Like basically, like 16 is a standalone game. <laughs> 16 is a standalone game. You don't need to play any other game, but this game. So I feel like that comparing them is, is like a little unfair. Um, okay. Anyway, uh, any, anyway, let's see. Um, so overall, I'd probably give this like an eight or nine. I'd probably give it an eight or nine. Um, I don't think it's a 10 out of 10 for me. I don't think so. I think Remake was better. Yeah. I think Remake was better. Uh, the only thing better in this one was the, was the combat. I'm a big fan of Stagger. I like Stagger. How about Game of the Year chances? I mean, I... I mean, I mean, it's my game of the year so far, but I mean, it's only fucking, you know, March. So, I mean, I don't know. It's my game of the year, but, but, but I don't really, um, but my opinion on game of the year doesn't, it doesn't matter, man. Like it doesn't, it doesn't matter. But I think, I think what is, okay. So I'll tell you what I think is preventing it. From Okay, he, here is what prevents it from being a 10 out of 10 for me. The sound, because it's horrible. I literally had to take out my earbuds for certain parts of the game. I'm not even kidding. The lighting, the tediousness, and how much time I spent in the menu, and the pacing of the game. I think those four things are what keep it from being a 10 out of 10. Now, if someone were to say that it was a 10 out of 10, I wouldn't necessarily think they were stupid because it's easy to get over that stuff. Like some people, they're not as bothered by the menu stuff. Some people enjoy side quests more than I do, even though I do enjoy side quests. Some people enjoy side quests more than I do. Uh, I don't see how you could possibly defend the lighting and I don't see how you could possibly defend the sound. Um, I guess you can defend the lighting if you don't have eyes and you can defend the sound if you don't have ears. Uh, but the thing is, guys, is 
the sound is an easy fix with a patch i would imagine the lighting has already been announced that it's going to that it's going to be fixed um i'll give you a couple more examples of the of the sound so the announcers are way too fucking loud um the the background noise is actually louder than the foreground noise, I guess. So like, let's say you're walking through a town, the people that don't matter, like they're just saying random shit. They are just as loud as the two characters talking. So that I don't think, uh, what's wrong with the light. So apparently, and you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but the light, like the lighting, is not centered around the character. It's centered around the camera. So when you walk into a dark room, like you move your character in, because the lighting isn't centered around the character, you'll, you'll walk into this just complete blackness, just complete darkness. And then once the camera goes through, then you will be able to see. So... I lowered the background music. I lowered all the settings. It was still too loud. It was still too loud. So like, uh, I guess I just got But those even weren't my biggest issues, man. My biggest issue was the fact that I felt pressure. This is, okay, I can excuse the sound because they can probably fix it with a patch. I can excuse the lighting because they did, because they're going to fix it with a patch. I can excuse the horrible tediousness of the materia system I can excuse that as well because now that I beat the game, I kind of know now that I know what I'm getting into, it won't be as bad, but you're as, as my first time, it was really bad because whenever I swapped to a new character or whenever, you know, that happened, it would force me like, Basically, I was afraid to go into con like I was afraid that I'd get into combat and, and not have any materia. Okay, so, um, so I so so I can excuse that. But the one thing that I cannot excuse, which is keeping it from a ten out of ten for me, is the fact that there are so many side quests and so many mini games, and they lock items and materia behind it, and you feel pressured that you have to do them. So in a sense, because I felt pressured that I had to do them, but I skipped them anyway because I was fucking tired of searching for towers and I was fucking tired of doing this fucking like the Chocobo dig and just, you got to understand guys, I did three full areas, a hundred percent. Okay. Like once you get to the fourth zone, you are fucking burnt the fuck out. Okay. I did, like, it was fine for the first zone. It was fine for the second zone. Then the third zone got a little, okay, this is becoming a little bit too much. Then the fourth zone, no, nah, dude, it's just too much. It's way, it's way too much, way too much. So, um, so I remember you telling me that yesterday that you can actually go into the menu prior to a boss fight by holding the square button. I tried it and it didn't work. So I probably did it at the wrong time. So. So anyway, uh, the thing that, anyway, the thing that keeps it from a 10 out of 10 for me is purely there's way too many side quests, way too many, many games. Now, um, my biggest issue with that, like I said, was I felt pressured to do them because I would miss out on materia. I would miss out on items. I would miss out on very important stuff and also combat. 
Like, I haven't even done all the fights in the game because unable to do the fights in the game, you have to, like, fucking go gather intel. But to gather intel, you have to explore the map. But to explore the map, you have to get, you have to get the towers. And it's just like, it just chains into all this, sh all this bullshit, man. So, like, for me, it was fine for the first three zones. Well, it wasn't fine, but it was okay. But then, dude, they just did it again and again. And it's like, holy fuck, man. It's just padding at this point, dude. It's just padding. So anyway, that's what keeps it out of that's what keeps it from a 10 out of 10 for me. For me. Now, if that doesn't bother you, then I'm sure this game is a 10 out of 10. But for me, it bothered me. Um so I would say. Yeah, I'd say like an eight or nine. I'd say probably an eight or nine. Uh I actually, I really enjoyed what they did with the story. I still really enjoyed what they did with the story. I have more questions than I have answers, but I did enjoy what they did. What are your hopes for part three? Uh, hopefully they reduce some of these fucking mini games, man. Hopefully they reduce some of the pad and focus more on like, I don't know, fucking, I don't know, combat? <laughs> <laughs> combat maybe <laughs> so I don't know oh you know what I really wasn't a fan of the um, uh, I don't know was there a lack of weapons I one thing that I did notice was I was like 50 hours in, or wait, how many hours? I was like 50 hours in and I finally, I finally found an item better than the sleek blade. Oh, okay. So yeah, no, no, no. So I will say this, uh, as far as the mini games, let's touch on the mini games just for a second here. So I loved queen's blood. I thought queen's blood was fucking awesome because I, yeah, so I, I want to say the good things about the mini games so that people don't think that that I that I didn't try them all. I was a big fan of the Chocobo race. Actually, I was a big fan of all the mini game, like a vast majority of the mini games. I really was. I really was. I was a a big fan of all of them. But the but the problem is the problem is is that they're very time consuming and they overwhelm you with them. Like they just keep just just over and over and over and over again man there's just too much okay so like i was a huge fan of the jacobo racing i was a huge fan of queen's blood i was a huge fan of fort condor uh what other mini games were there i even liked the the jacobo the little jacobo mini games i mean it wasn't my favorite but i mean i didn't mind it okay so like uh, I like the gym. I like the gym. I did not like luring the chickens. Uh, I did not like the piano, but the piano was because I was bad at it. So that's why I didn't like it. I don't like that. It's based on the analog sticks. Um, so I don't know if that counts for my opinion or not, but, uh, but I did enjoy, like, I was actually surprised. I was actually surprised about how many mini games I put in the game and how many that I like them. I was really surprised. Uh, so when I say that there's too much side content and they, it's not necessarily the quality of the side content. I think that quality is, is relatively high, but the fact that you feel pressured into doing it, that's my biggest thing is you feel pressured into doing it and it takes away from the story. It takes away the momentum from the story. So I guess with all that being said, uh, I would say like an eight or nine out of 10. Yeah. I would say it's an eight out of 10 for now, but once they fix the lighting, once they fix the sound, um, it'll probably be a 10 out of 10. Actually, you know what? Or I'm sorry, not a 10 out of 10, but like a 9 out of 10. Actually, you know what? Let's see. Chapter selection and hard difficulty are now available. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, for a real challenge, switch a chapter's difficulty to hard while playing on this setting. Items cannot be used and rest spots only recover HP. Okay, so basically the hard mode. Uh, the hard mode is the same, which that's a disappointment. Accessibility, uh, accessible via the system. Log shows your achievements throughout the story and battle. When choosing chapter 8 or 12 from chapter selection, you can pick any character with a close enough relationship to Cloud to accompany him in the Gold Saucer. Okay. Meet inserting meetings such as uh, will unlock unique. Okay, so you can control Sephiroth and Zack. Okay. Chocobo races now have changing boo. Oh, Chocobo ranches. Okay. Okay. Uh, we'll return you to the start of the chosen chapter. Your current... Okay, nice. So this is like New Game Plus. Okay. The Chocobo Fango will not be available. How many chapters were in the... Were in Remake? Oh, 18? Okay. I think this game was definitely longer. I got Platinum in Remake, yeah. I don't know if I'm going to replay through Hard Mode. I don't know, maybe. Any plans on playing Crisis Core Reunion? Uh, I don't know, maybe. Maybe, yeah. Maybe... Hmm. So, okay, so which which didn't I do? So, I stopped. Okay, so here is when I stopped doing 100%. So, I did 100% all the way until right here, until chapter 10. Retain current quest. What? All completed quest data for your current playthrough will carry... Okay, all right. Allowing you to polish off... Okay. What is the... Di Wait, what is the difference? Previously completed quest data from any prior playthrough will carry over. Allowing you... To okay. All completed quest data. Okay, so what the fuck is the difference? Play on hard difficulty. You will need to restart the chapter to change difficulty. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. Okay. Well, I don't want to do that now. I just want to see where I left off is all. Okay, so when I do... So when you do hard mode, you have to do everything again. You have to do all of the side quests again. Yo, man, I thank you for the resub. 77 months, man. Yo, Rim. Rim and Volpeace, thank you guys as well for the resub. Please help with the gifty. Only story. Okay, so let's try it. What are these extra settings? Tactical mode slowdown. Oh, 
Oh, okay, this is kind of cool. Okay, this is neat. Okay. Intimate conclusion. Okay, this is pretty cool. Yeah, this is really cool. So if you want to see if you want to see stuff, okay. Oh wow, what the fuck? Okay, this is kind of cool. I never got those. Okay, so I want to see this. Uh, retain current quest completion data. Okay. I just want to see this. Okay, okay, this is cool. Okay. Okay, this is nice. So basically, can I fast travel to these? Wow, I can. This is Dines like Shack, I think. Huh. I might play through this on hard mode. I mean, not, not right now, guys. Not right now. Okay, so this is this is actually really cool. This is better than I thought it was going to be. Okay, okay. Okay, so this is better than I thought it was going to be. So, basically with... Uh, can I... Let me see. Oh, I see. I'd have to, um, I'd have to go back. Okay. Okay. We'll just play this out. And then after this, can I actually skip this? I wonder, I wonder if I can skip this. I skip this part too. Hey, Robo -Cat. Okay. So this is, so this is pretty cool then. Let's fix that. There's not much to know. I'm a so basically all of the work that I did is not wasted. So all of the work that I did in normal mode, I maintain that on hard mode. 
because when I go back through the story, well, I can skip all this shit, but also, uh, bruh, you know what? You know what I'm going to do? Yeah. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do this right. Well, not right now, but this is okay. Okay. So I think I will play through this on hard mode. I think I will. Uh, I will finish off the two zones. I'll finish off the two zones I didn't do on hard mode. Okay, so the new game plus is actually really cool. So So all of this is more or less 100%. All of this right here is more or less 100%. But I did not do 100% on this right here. So uh because of that this is also really cool that you can select the different chapters on on hard mode you you basically you basically don't have to play through the game in order so i don't have to start here so i could actually start here and finish out the game on hard mode and then go back through these chapters if i really wanted to So this is much better. This is better than remake. Yeah, this part is okay. So the hard mode is actually a little better than I thought it would be. Um, I still think it's kind of cringe that it's just, I mean, I imagine the bosses have more HP, but I, you can't use items and you can't use magic. So in that case, you're just going to have to rely more on prayer and chakra, but Huh, okay. No, no, what I'm saying is is like, no, I understand you need all the chapters on hard mode. That's not that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying is is you can you can choose which so like basically because I've already a hundred percent or close to to all these chapters right here, the chapter I stopped is Watcher of the Veil. So if I'm going to redo this chapter, um I might as well do it on, on hard mode. Uh, because I can start here basically. So like what I could do is let's say I want to go for the, let's say I want to complete the whole game on hard mode, right? I could start here. And then after this chapter, I just, I go to another chapter. Like, let's say this one, I could just basically pick whichever chapter I want. Or what did I say? You can't use magic? No, sorry. I meant you can't recover MP from benches and you can't use items. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, so this is actually really cool. Okay, okay. Oh, okay, okay. So the end game is a little better than I thought. Okay, so it's a 9 out of 10. Okay, so it's a 9 out of 10. It's a 9 out of 10. All right, I like this. So we'll start here. Uh, why in the mother of fuck would you ever want to do this? Ugh. This will not overwrite your save data quest. Whatever. Restore previous. Okay. Are you forced to do side quests in this game? Uh, in a sense, yes. In a sense, yes. Okay, so this is on hard, right? So this is on hard. Okay. So basically it maintained all of my, it maintained everything. Uh, I do not have a chickaboo, right? I do have a chickaboo. Wow. Okay. That's better. Okay. Hi, why are you bald? Hi, why are you banned? Okay.
right. All right, it's a 9 out of 10. It's a 9 out of 10 for me. That's my final rating. It's a 9 out of 10. Why not 10 out of 10? No, actually, you know what? I'm going to hit Leo up right now, actually. Um, hold on. Yeah, I think it's a 9 out of 10. I think it's a 9 out of 10. What did you guys rate it? What did you guys rate it? 4 out of 10, 10 out of 10, 9 out of 10, 8 or 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10, 0 out of 10, 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10, 10, 3, 2 out of 10. Okay. Okay. So far, I say 8 out of 10. Okay. 10 out of 10 so far. Okay. Okay. So, so I feel like, I feel like my, I, I mean, do you guys think I gave it a, I mean, do you guys think I gave it a fair review? I tried to explain from two to, from multiple perspectives. I try I, I tried to be really fair fair with the game so I, I I do I feel like it's like a nine so I so so I guess I agreed with the majority of you yeah yeah I I, I think I agreed with the majority of you okay okay I always sometimes I get like fucking I don't know man it's not like stage fright but Sometimes I get like, um, like I don't like to to give a to give a game a rating sometimes without really, really, really explaining my entire thought process. So, okay, okay, all right. Um, so, uh, uh Okay, guys, I want to show you something real fast. Does it say the difficulty, actually? How can I tell the difficulty? Okay, it's on hard. Okay, 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 okay. okay. I just wanted to make sure I, I did it right. Okay. Um... Okay. All right, I want to show you guys something, man. Uh, let's see here. Here, let me turn this back on. Uh, I want to show you guys something. Um... When did this game came out? Okay. Uh, 
this is how long I've streamed in the past. Um, let's see. One, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so I've so for the past six days, I want to show you guys how how long I've streamed. <laughs> uh, so uh um yeah so this was in the past six days uh so i i think i'm gonna end stream right now is that okay? Can I, uh, I'm going to ask you guys. It's okay. He needs to rest. It's best you rest. It's okay. We'll be here. Uh, so I'm going to put in my PTO. Is that cool for like next couple days? PTO denied. PTO denied. Yeah. What about if I stream Thursday? Yeah, what about if I stream Thursday? Um, yeah, is that cool? <sighs> so if I get like a couple days. Uh, so I want to tell you guys something. At the, at the end of the month, I'm actually going to take like a little mini vacation. I'm going to hang out with... Um, with uh, Lama Todd and Zerv and Shiv. I'm going to hang out with those guys. That's at the, uh, probably Spoods too, maybe. Uh, I don't know who's all going to be there. There's going to be like 10, 10 people there and I got invited. Yeah, down in Florida. I got invited for that. I was considering going to um, uh, PAX East, but um, I with the Florida trip that I got invited to happening around the same time. Um, I can really only go to one of them and I don't, uh, I, I would go to PAX if I had like friends I was meeting up with there and stuff, but I'm not really like a PAX goer, I guess. Um, basically like PAX is like PAX and stuff is more for, um, it's more for like, what do you call it? Um, social networking, you know? Um, and I don't really, the only, like, I don't really collab with too many streamers. So, yeah. Um, so I think I'm going to take, I think I'm going to take, uh, let's put on the wise tree. Um, okay, so yeah, I think I'm done. I think I'm going to take a couple days off, guys. Is that all right? Is that all right if I take a couple days off? I'll probably take Tuesday off, take Wednesday off, because Wednesday's a lift day. I haven't actually lifted any weights in like a week and a half. So I'm going to do that on Wednesday. Um, Thursday, Thursday I'll be on though, okay? Thursday I'll be on. I just need a couple days. Yeah. Um, streaming 70, 73 hours, man, is, is, is really rough, you know? Uh, but, uh, I'll be around on Twitch, you know, I'll be around on, um, on, uh, you know, discord and stuff, you know, um, thank you, Tom Barry. Um, thank you very much. So yeah, I want to thank you guys again for hanging out during the playthrough. Uh, you guys make the single player games like much, much more enjoyable for me, uh, personally. Um, so I want to thank you guys a lot for hanging out. Um, uh, I am gonna, I'll probably run through hard mode. I really will. Yeah, I'll probably run through hard mode. I might stream it on Beardhead. I'm not sure. I really need a couple days off though, guys. I really, I really do. I really do. Um, I'm going to try to get a, a collection of clips actually. 
wait a minute. Uh, let me ask Swoobo. I'm asking Sweeba to get the clips together because we had some really funny clips, man. Super funny clips. Um, okay, anyway, guys. Uh, yeah, I'm done, man. I'm I'm done. I'm gonna take the next two days off, okay? The next two days. Give me two days. Uh, tomorrow, I'm probably just going to like fucking relax and not think. And then Wednesday is a lift day. Dude, I don't know why, but man, my shoulder, my shoulder was so painful. Um, yeah. Okay. So anyway, guys, thank you again for hanging out, man. Thanks a lot. Thanks so much. Like I said, man, it really means a lot when you guys hang out during this during the solo playthroughs. We didn't have too many spoilers, uh, so thank you for that. If for whatever reason people got banned for a spoiler, fucking don't spoil. Um, I'll see you guys on Thursday, okay? I'll see you guys on Thursday. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Um, I'll see you guys on Thursday. So thank you again for hanging out. Thanks for the subs, the resubs. If you put in beard points, I promise I will get to the beard points tonight or tomorrow. I promise. Uh, if you're not subbed and you want to check out any VOD, this is the VOD channel. Uh, this is the VOD channel. Uh, you don't have to be subbed to, to watch it or anything. So I'll see you guys later. So wherever you are in the world, have a good day. Have a good night. And I'll see you on Thursday. Peace. Forgetting something, drummer, the kisses, the critical. <laughs> Thank you. Extra kisses now. Extra kisses. FB Pong sit. A jet time. Love you guys. You really make first playthroughs so much fun. Thank you for hanging out. See you Thursday.